So we are heading out from our hotel for the night, for the night. And we are in a town, I can't, I'm not even gonna be able to pronounce it right. But it's Tanachi something. And there's supposedly a waterfall out here. Just out at the end of town. We'll see if we can see it from the road or if this is a hiking thing. I know there's a hiking trail down to the bottom of the falls, but I don't know about the top. This is the first day on the trip, though, that uh, my stomach is certainly not agreeing with me today. So that makes things interesting. <laughs> it is not fun to get on a bike when your stomach is not great. The silence fades into the night. Coyotes sing at the moonlight. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Well, let's go see what this is all about. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape. Let's escape. Let's escape. All right, well, we just did that little short bit of a hike um, just to kind of see what we could see it was just quite a ways back into the waterfalls and then the uh, motorcycle boots I didn't really want to be doing that so hey you know we hiked a little bit we saw you could get an idea of what the canyon was like but now it is time to get on the road and get to Criddle. Wave goodbye to your city life Say hello to the desert sky These open highways are calling our name what a beautiful part of the world. It's pretty amazing. I'm really looking forward to what we're going to get to see today as we ride into Krill. Copper Canyon is supposed to be one of the most spectacular canyons in the world. It's one of the biggest. It's seven times larger than the Grand Canyon is something I saw. I assume that's by volume or length or something, but it is, I know it's deeper than the Grand Canyon and deeper than Hell's Canyon. I believe it's the deepest in North America and the biggest in North America. I don't know about all the Americas. There may be one down in Peru that's bigger. Um, you know, measuring this stuff, there's always conflicts. I don't know. They also told us that the road there today is a pretty spectacular road. just past the gas station. Famous last words, hopefully not. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back for gas. I'm just gonna go cruise this road for a bit, see what we get up to, see what the views look like, see what the potholes look like. Telling you though, Chihuahua, you put pristine pavement on this, you could sell tickets to motorcyclists. This road, if it was in good shape, woo. Still all covered with trees. I'm looking for a spot for a photo that valley, but I don't know if I'm going to find one. It's a good spot for a picture. Wait for Tomek from his gas. What a spot. We are dead on 8,000 feet, Patrick. But the road, I think, I don't know. I think it goes up still. I don't know. I think we still go up and then before we go. But man, what a route. Just over 8,600. We're on our way down now, at least for the moment. You never know. We might go back up again. All right, so I just stopped here, sat under that tree, drank some water. Tomek's there now. He caught up. So we're back together. I think we're at least halfway, maybe more than halfway to Krill. 
um, yeah, we were just cruising along having fun on that road. He was laughing when he pulled up because he said, I thought you said you didn't feel well. I figured I'd catch up with you in short time. He says, 100 kilometers later, I see you sitting under a tree. <laughs> Bienvenidos a oh, Creed. So should we meet him at the train station depot? Okay, we'll be we'll be in front. Two blue motorcycles, two azul motocicletas. All right, so we called a friend of a guy that we met who said he had a good hotel in Creel. So the guy told us, meet a guy named Vladimir in front of the train station. <laughs> and he'll show us where the hotel is. Oh, we're here. We got a room. <laughs> so we're just rolling down here through Main Street Creel. We are on our way out to see Copper Canyon and uh, one of the places that's supposed to have one of the best viewpoints. And that's where the adventure park with the tram and the zip line and all that stuff is. Um, but there's a bunch of restaurants and hotels, so we're going to go see what it is all about. You and I becoming home in a town we'll never know. To a house we'll never own. So I think far off there, I believe that is Copper Canyon. That face are tomorrow's yesterday. Today. We're here at the Adventure Park. We are about the only ones here, actually. It's uh, it's pretty dead. But we're going to do the touristy thing, because every once in a while we get to be tourists, and we're going to go take the uh, cable car, or the, the aerial tram. It's a 40-minute ride. We're going to go see what it's all about. We're going to go. <laughs> Film the ride and see what it's like. just did the adventure park and the tram that you saw. So we're just gonna get back on the motorcycles back here and get headed back in towards the grill. You get one of me? I'm gonna get a picture of mine. Well, the bike just died on me. Um, we're trying to see if it has gas. Yeah, man, I've got plenty of gas. I've got tons of it. That's weird. 
I'll go in front. Our tomorrow's yesterday. Getting ready to head out, so he's heading back to the state, and I'm gonna keep going south. Oh, 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 oh,